Howdy my peeps. Today I'm going to be sharing some tips on how to fill a sketchbook. And I filled quite a few sketchbooks in my day, so I've picked up a few things along the way. I'm going to share them with you. And my first tip is to, if you're really intimidated by large sketchbooks and like thick books, to just get a smaller sketchbook. It can be smaller in dimensions or it can be smaller in the amount of pages that is in it. If large sheets and large quantities of sheets bother you and kind of intimidate you and scare you away from sketchbooks, then get something that's a little smaller. Another thing that you can do is sketch large or loose drawings. And these are drawings that don't have to be perfect. That's the main idea of this whole thing. Nothing has to be perfect in your sketchbook. Sketchbooks, in my opinion, are meant to be for practice and they don't have to be pretty. You can have two sketchbooks. You have one for pretty stuff and one for practicing. And I find that doing large and loose drawings are really good for practicing um, really fluid poses and stuff. And I like to do those every now and then when I need to just get in the zone. You can also sketch daily. This is something that I have been doing for a long time. I don't necessarily sketch every day, but for a long time I did sketch every day. Um, just make sure that when you're doing that you take breaks. But anyway, what you can do is you can set aside some time every day or maybe not set aside a particular time block, but like maybe before you go to bed sketch a little something or when you wake up in the morning or if you are on break or something like that and to just find a way to fit into your schedule if that is something that you like to do. One thing that I really enjoy doing is to develop a character. And I recently did this with my character, Kamir. I filled several pages with character design ideas and story ideas for this character. Um, and basically how this works for me is I'll draw the character, like one of my OCs or something, and I'll be like super inspired and then I'll come up with more ideas and I'll just keep coming up with more ideas and keep sketching things. And I find that if I'm really interested in a character, or invested in their story or something that I can create several sketches with that character because it's something that I'm passionate about. You don't have to necessarily sketch one of your OCs. You can pick maybe a character in a book or a movie or something that you like and continue to sketch them over and over and over again and perhaps develop your own character. One thing that I do a lot of is quick sketches and these are sketches that are quick. They don't have to be perfect. I don't really erase when I'm doing these types of sketches because they're not meant to be perfect. So I just do some quick marks on the page, make a face, and move on to the next one without worrying about, oh my gosh, why are these eyeballs not lining up? Because with these types of sketches, it's not really for the purpose of making them perfect. It's for the purpose of kind of getting my wrist moving and to get me into the, the flow of drawing. Is that how you say that? I don't know. I hope that's how you say that. But anyway, something that also helps to fight against perfectionism is to sketch with something like a gel pen. Something that you cannot erase. Something that will make you think about the marks that you put on the page. But not overthink it, but just be conscious of it. And it also helps you to, once you start sketching, and if you mess up, to not worry about it and to just move on. And it also helps you to be able to kind of think about the placement of things. Like when I'm sketching faces this way, it makes me think about like where the eyes go and things like that. And because you don't have the safety net of erasing, you make sure that every mark counts. And you can do these really quickly and they're really fun. If you have trouble coming up with your own ideas, another thing that you can do is sketch memes. There are loads of memes out there. And pretty much everybody likes memes. So basically what you do is you get a meme or a group of memes that you like and you redraw them. You can redraw them as is or you can add your OCs or yourself or something and just sketch those because those are ideas that are already out there and those are fun because memes are fun. So you don't necessarily have to come up with an original idea if you're trying to do memes because memes belong to the internet. Do memes belong to the internet? Who owns memes? That's a question for another time. Anyway, 
another thing that I like to do is to sketch my OCs over and over and just do simple sketches of them. So I'm not really, I don't do, like if you look through, if you've ever seen some of my sketchbook tours, um, and some pages I don't even like shade or anything, I just draw the faces and I'll just draw the same character over and over. Sometimes I'll draw a different character or maybe just a random person that I've just come up from my imagination or whatever. And I basically practice how to draw that character over and over consistently. And that's really fun and since they're my OCs, I like it. It's I'll enjoy doing it because they're my OCs and I care about my OCs and I like my OCs. Okay, my OCs. This kind of goes back to the point about the gel pens and that's not erasing, but you're using a pencil. So when you're sketching and you're trying to fill up a bunch of pages quickly, do not worry about whether things look good or not. And not just to be like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna erase it all in this sketchbook, but to kind of limit it. If you're drawing something and it's not turning out the way you want, to just move on to the next sketch. And recently in my last video, I wanna say I did a drawing and the sketch wasn't the best of sketches. And later on things didn't turn out the way that I wanted. And you'll find that that happens a lot with sketches that aren't right. So this kind of helps teach you to, if a sketch is not, like if the foundation is not right, that you kind of have to just abandon it and move on to a next, a new one, and to maybe fix it then, instead of working at the same sketch over and over. Because if you're just working on one sketch, then you can spend 20 minutes on one sketch. Whereas if you don't worry about perfection, you can do several sketches in 20 minutes. Another great way to fill a sketchbook is to write things. So basically, you just write stuff. Sometimes I do like. Like, I'll do like little comments next to my drawings. I'll say like dirt or something. Like, if a sketch doesn't turn out right, I'll put dirt next to it. Or if you're developing characters, you can put character information next to the sketches. You can put little arrows and stuff explaining things that you drew. Or you can just write random stuff. You can do whatever. And writing, just writing words in your sketchbook fills up a lot of space. And I think it looks nice. You can also draw scenes or comics in your sketchbooks, and these are things that whenever I do them I find they don't take a lot of time. Um, it just kind of starts with like a simple idea. So for example, one time I was sketching and I was like, I'm going to have my OC, he's sitting down and his aunt is about to give him a haircut. And that's just like the simple idea and from that I was able to fill up a page and a half. And I didn't really spend a lot of time on those sketches. And I kind of took the whole quick method approach to them and just blocked in everything really quick. And I didn't, I sketch really fast, so I don't know. That's just how I, that's how I roll, okay? So that particular thing didn't take me a lot of time to do. I find that I like the sketchbooks where I have like a lot of like mini comic things in them. And when I say comic, I don't mean it has to be something like with like boxes and dialogue and stuff. It could just be something that tells a story and it doesn't have to be elaborate or anything. It can be funny even. It can be a meme. Wow, the memes have returned. You can also do studies. You can go on Pinterest or Google. You can type in like um, sitting poses or something or hands and you can just draw those. And once again, they don't have to be perfect. You can just sketch them really quickly and fill up an entire page or several pages. And while you're doing it, you can also be practicing your anatomy and things, which I need to do that, but anyway. Those are my tips on how to fill sketchbooks. I really, 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 really like sketchbooks. You know this if you've been subscribed for a while. I really enjoy sketchbooks. They are amazing. And like I said, I filled quite a few. Not to toot my own horn, but I have. <laughs> so anyway, those are my tips. I hope you like them and I hope you find them to be helpful. If you have any more tips on how to fill sketchbooks, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section. Also, kind of unrelated, but like 
the cop of law things are now in effect and some creators have already gotten uh, affected by those and that's kind of sad and like just uh, it's just wow it's, it's very deep let me just say that but anyway not to leave it on a low note let's leave it on a high note um, comment your favorite meme <laughs> Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you would like to support me in my art, you can head over to my coffee page or my Threatless shop. Or you can follow me on Instagram or subscribe to my channel if you want to. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and please enjoy the rest of your day.